ranking all five new Merlin attractions 2021. I had to be really careful with that. Big boy coming through. And us, can fault come too? Oh, go on then. So, it is extremely rare that all four of Merlin's UK theme parks each receive a brand new attraction in the same year. Has that ever happened before? Thus, it is imperative that I rank them, so I document this momentous occasion. So we can look back in future years and be like, 2021 was good. Also, I won't be including the Retro Squad because they don't count, they're just rentals. This isn't MTV Cribs. Last but not least, well, it is my least favourite. That's why it's in at number five. Fire and Ice Freefall. I mean, something has to go last. But other than these sweet elements, they do nothing for me. So because I'm not really the demographic, it comes in fifth. Unfortunately, I have only got one clip of this ride. Fun day though. Oh wait, look at this Joker. He done me dirty with his photo. I think he's got that camera mythic and magic. JK, rolling on to number four. And that is Black Mirror Labyrinth at Fort Park. Upon reflection, it wasn't amazing, more a labyrinth in. <laughs> so bad, I can only apologise. It's certainly something unique for the park's lineup, and I've always had a good laugh every time I've walked through until I walk into the mirror maze bit and I walk round in circles more times than an enterprise. Must have been a short cycle because I got out really quickly. Drop it, Twitter Sam. As you wish. And dropping in at number three is Croc Drop at Chessington World of Adventures. Looking like a huge crocodile kebab, this SBF visa drop tower became an instant hit at Chessington gaining some of the longest queues in the park and regularly featuring as a favourite amongst photographers. Look at all those snaps. Thanks pun chums. Leave your best crop drop puns in the comments below. It's just a shame it replaced Ramesses. No! Give him back! Ha ha ha, revenge. Two rides haven't been mentioned yet. Which one will feature next? Meaning that the other will be the best. Narrowly, 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 narrowly missing out on the crown is Gangster Granny at Alton Towers. Translating from page to park so seamlessly, Gangster Granny is the perfect centrepiece for the world of David Walliams. The ride far surpassed my expectations with its multi-sensory show scenes and the comedy made it an entertaining experience for guests of all ages. Even your dog will love it. Wait, no, don't actually bring your dog. Lego to number one. Get it? Lego? Because it is, of course, Flight of the Sky Lion at Legoland Windsor. Ooh, look, I'm going in. I'm going to go with temperature on that one. Flame, temperature. Come on, tell me. No. Told you it was temperature. Oh my god, can you believe it? I am so clever. Anyway, this incredible flying theatre is not only my favourite 2021 Merlin edition, but it's one of my favourite attractions in the UK. A first of its kind for the UK, Flight of the Skyline is an immersive, visually breathtaking and thrilling experience as you fly through Mythica with Maximus. That was so good, I can't even stop smiling. Expert review, straight from the horse's mouth. Lion's mouth. Anyway, I won't go into too much detail as I urge you to give this a go if you haven't already, as it's a fun experience for the whole family. Merlin, completed it mate. Well, Punchums, please can you subscribe as I'd like to hit 500 by the end of the year. Nah, I'm greedy. By the end of the week. Wait, did I say that out loud? Thanks so much for watching. Comment your best crop drop puns down below and like the video. On the morrow. Augmented reality activated.
trusted you to be a good photographer? Sorry about that. I don't work in AR.